Hi, this is Lynn with Extreme Virtual Support, and today I wanted to talk to you about a discovery I made. I was looking for something and I uh, wanted to tell you about it. And the discovery isn't paint.net, but I wanted to start on this Wikipedia page. What I was really actually trying to do is get a website background that was a seamless background. I've got a test page over here that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I wanted the, the client wants a wooden background, but they did not want of course the scene here and so I was looking for how could I uh, get something that would be seamless I know that there had to be some kind of software that would do that for me that wasn't Photoshop I don't want to have to get Photoshop or learn it and so I thought about paint.net so I started binging around and I did find that paint.net has a great forum they have tutorials and I found this here about this seamless texture maker which is a plugin that goes to paint.net and I'll have this uh, this URL in the show notes so you won't need to write it down but it is a DLL file you'll download the file you have to unzip it and then you just put this file into this effects folder in paint.net and I'll have that in the notes too. So uh, let's just go take a look at paint.net. And we're start, going to start out here with this iStock photo, the sample that I downloaded, because it's real easy to see how we're going to change it. And there's, there's two ways we're going to look at. And the best way I have found to do it is you take your image and you want to resize it. Now you're going to need to make sure that your image will will be okay for resizing. So you want it to have a, a kind of a high quality. You can see this one isn't though in, in pixels. And I want mine, I'm just, I'd say my height, I want it at least 900. I'm maintaining my aspect ratio here. So I'm going to change this and you can see it's it's resizing it. And you can see it's, it's um, not a real high resolution, but let's look at what this effect can do. So in order to start the seamless Text, uh, seamless Texture Maker, you go to Distort, and then after your plugin's installed, then you'll click on this. And also, before you install your plugin, make sure you shut down Paint.net. So you want to have it shut when you're putting that in there. And then you can see instantly that it made it, um, uh, it's still uh, got a good resolution, but it's just kind of made it wider, longer, because it's going to be make it seamless, but it's still keeping the, the resolution and aspect ratio. And here are different things you can play around with if you want it to be horizontal. Of course, I want mine to be vertical. And you can just, you know, play around with it here. That doesn't really do anything because it's the same each way. So that's all you do. And you click OK, and then it's making it. Then, of course, you need to save your image background. So let's do a Save As. And I've already saved this two different ways. Um, this one is with the uh, image resizing. So I'm just going to save right over it and say OK. And then I'm going to go to my website. And I'm using Builder Style Manager from iThemes. And you can see what it looks like there. And I'm going to upload the image that we just saved. And here it is, the width, the resizing. And I'm going to save it. You can already see a difference there. Um, but then I'm going to go down here and save my style. And I can go back to my test page and refresh it. And then you can see that I finally I have my seamless background. So if I if I were to if we just wanted to take a look and see what would happen if we pulled up the um, background without it being saved or without it being resized, you can save that. Go down here and save it, and we'll see a little different look. So you can see that's kind of fuzzy. You know, for some things it may not matter, uh, but you can see it's just not as sharp. And if so, if you resize it and then using use the texture, the effects, then it will really work out a lot better. So that is my discovery. Hope you like it. Uh, if you've discovered anything that you like, let me know in the in the comments. Thank you.